If you're concerned about paying too much taxes and would like a better state for your children, then listen to this man who cares. Hello, I'm Jim Gardner, and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to talk with you about something that is very important to each of us. I'm talking about our state, yours and mine. You know, I'm not a politician, I'm a businessman who is concerned about the amount of money that you and I are paying in taxes and the lack of services we're receiving. I'm sure you've asked yourself, as I have, why are we paying so much tax and where's my hard-earned money going? I believe the reason that you are paying high taxes is because our state is being mismanaged by politicians. You know, being a businessman, I look at our state as a business. It belongs to you and to every other citizen in our state. You're the stockholders of North Carolina. If a business is mismanaged, then the stockholders replace the management. And that is exactly what needs to be done in Raleigh. There needs to be a house cleaning of all the politicians who have been living off of you and me. They need to be replaced by qualified men and women who will give your state the type of leadership it needs. I believe that my business background will help me give our state the type strong leadership that it hasn't had in a long time. You know, Hardy's Food Systems was built with this type of leadership, and North Carolina's no different. You and your family deserve more than you have been receiving. In order for me to be your governor, I must first win the Republican primary on June 3rd. To you who are Republicans, may I point out several things for you to consider. First of all, for a Republican to win in our state, he must be able to receive the support of large numbers of registered Democrats. My opponent has never run in a statewide general election, but in 1968, as your candidate for governor, I received 737,000 votes. This was more votes than any other Republican has ever received in the history of our state. It was 110,000 more votes than our President Richard Nixon received. This is a clear proof to me that Democrats and Republicans will support me in large numbers. Secondly, and most important, is who is backing each candidate, both with money and time. My support is from people like you, who want only one thing from their governor, and that is good, honest, efficient government. Government that gives you, the taxpayer, a dollar's worth of value for each of your tax dollars that it collects. No one person or group will dictate or intimidate me to do anything that's not in the best interest of the people of our state. What I've just said is the exact reason that all of the large liberal Democrat newspapers in our state, like the Raleigh News and Observer, the Greensboro Daily News, the Charlotte Observer, all oppose me. I remind all Republicans they also oppose Richard Nixon and Jesse Helms and any other Republican they consider a threat to the Democrat machine. It is strange indeed to find that these liberal pro-Democrat newspapers not only oppose me to the point of twisting and distorting news coverage of my campaign, but they also support my opponent. And talking about strange bedfellows, how about Jim Holzhausen, the AFL-CIO? You know, it'd be real interesting to ask Mr. Holzhauser why he has the support of the labor unions in this state. Has he made a promise to them? Has he made any pledge to Will Bahabi that he will give him some type of special deal? You know, now I'm talking about big labor. I'm talking about the same group who rejected President Richard Nixon in Miami. I'm talking about the same union bosses who did their best to sabotage Mr. Nixon. My friends, I need your help. I need it on June 3rd if we're going to have a better North Carolina. I believe we can. I don't think our children deserve anything less. Thank you. Jim Gardner cares about you and your family. Jim Gardner cares about North Carolina. Help elect a man who has proven ability to head our state. Help elect a man who will fight for what he believes is right for the people of North Carolina. On Saturday, June the 3rd, take five minutes of your time and vote for Jim Gardner. It's worth the effort. It's your state.